that since Pi Day is coming up this week, you know, 3.14 or March 14th, this would be the perfect time to share some math picture books with you. A few weeks ago, I shared a video about how you can use read alouds all across the curriculum in different areas. And a lot of you came to me and said, yes, we would love more picture book ideas for science, social studies, for math. So today we're starting that off with books all about math topics. Now, these aren't your boring books. These are fun, engaging read alouds that you can share with your students to help introduce different math concepts. Now this can be a huge help for your students because seeing these concepts in a different light will help them connect with it and make it easier for them to understand in the long run. Now, I just have a small collection today, but there are so many other ones out there, and I would love to know what some of your favorite math read aloud books are as well. So let's jump into those books. This first one is a funny read aloud. This one is called The Math Curse. Now, I think especially your students who aren't such big fans of math will really connect with this one. Do you ever wake up to one of those days where everything seems like a problem? Well, it is in this book. Like, you have 10 things to do, but only 30 minutes to do it in. Or you have three shirts and two pairs of pants. Can you make one good outfit? And you start to wonder, why does everything need to be a problem? Why do two apples always have to be added to three oranges? Why can't you just keep the 10 cookies without giving three away? And you wanna know why? It's because you're a victim of the math curse. But don't despair because this book shares how one girl's story can show that the curse might just be able to be broken. So it's a fun read aloud, but also has some connections, some links to different math concepts as well. I think your students will really enjoy the math curse. This next one is called Great Estimations and wait until you see the cover of it. It is full of jelly beans. Now, isn't that just something you wanna dive into? I feel like just the cover makes me want to open it and learn more about it. And as the title suggests, it's all about learning different ways to estimate. So for example, how many jelly beans are on the cover of the book? Don't count them, estimate. And this unique book will show you how to train your eyes and your mind to make really good estimations. By making estimating a fun game, and jelly beans are just the beginning of that game. And this book gives your students lots of different hints and ideas for how they can learn to estimate, especially when they have a large number of things to count. Another great math read aloud for your class. This next book is part of a series that includes lots of different books that address different math concepts. So I only grabbed one, but I will leave links to all of them in the description box down below. This one is called Circumference and All the King's Tents. Circumference and Lady Di have planned a surprise birthday party for King Arthur, but they didn't expect quite so many guests to arrive. How many lunches will they need? Do they have enough seats? And with more guests arriving by the minute, Circumference and Lady Di need to think quick. And so as everyone's stomachs start to growl, the knight and lady race to count their guests by tens, hundreds, and even thousands in this wonderful book all about introducing place value to your students. And another book that I have all about math is one that might be better for upper elementary. This one is called Spaghetti and Meatballs for All, and it's an introduction to perimeter. And I love how this one, along with the other ones that I've shared, give real life scenarios to students for how they're going to use this math concept. Because I feel like a lot of times students learn something in math and think they're only going to use it in school, but by bringing in real life scenarios, they can see how it'll be helpful in their everyday lives as they grow up. But in this story, Mrs. Comfort has come up with an economical way to seat her 32 guests. And as guests enter, they keep mixing up the way that she has their seating arranged, which changes the number of people that can be seated. And your students will really enjoy working with the different possibilities of perimeter in this great book, Spaghetti and Meatballs for All. 
Another math read aloud that I have is called The Action of Subtraction by Brian P. Cleary. And he has quite a few books, not only about math, but about grammar and different aspects to teach students that will make a great addition to your classroom. And actually I have another one of his too, so stay tuned to the end because I have another book by him. But the action of subtraction is full of rhyming text, which you could probably guess from the title. And it's filled with funny, countable examples of what it means to take one number away from another number. And it incorporates different terminology that students will be introduced to as they're learning all about subtraction. So this is a great read aloud for students to learn what it means to subtract and how they can use it in real life situations. The next math read aloud that I have is called The Greedy Triangle. And when I was teaching, I actually had a colleague who always used to turn this into a reader's theater with her students and present it to other classes and I thought that was such a neat idea. But as you can tell, it's talking about geometric shapes and it introduces students to different types of shapes. It starts out with a triangle who is bored with his shape and so he asks the shapeshifter to add another angle to his shape. And he does this over and over and over again. And he becomes so many different shapes until he realizes that he misses his friends and it's not so bad being a triangle. And it's a great because it shows students, shows readers all the different types of shapes and the many different forms and contexts and positions that you might find them in and in real life scenarios again to really help bring this math concept to life for them. Another great read aloud for math. And this last book that I have is again by Brian P. Cleary as I mentioned earlier. This one is A Dollar, A Penny, How Much, and How Many. And again, another amusing book, but this one will show students how to combine different coins, pennies, dimes, quarters, nickels, and how to count them, again, along with dollar bills, ones, fives, tens, and how they combine them to make different amounts of money. And similar to the action of subtraction, it has upbeat, silly lyrics and fun illustrations to really engage all of your students in learning about how to count money in the classroom. So I hope that these math books were helpful for you and that you'll be able to use some of them in math class when teaching your students about different math concepts. Like I said earlier, I think it's so helpful when students can see these math concepts being played out in real life scenarios or even in a fun, silly way and helping them become engaged with the math skills that you're teaching. It helps them bring it to life to understand why they're learning it and how they're going to apply it later on and it really builds that connection in their mind. If this video was helpful for you, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button down below so that I know to make more of these videos to help you find books to use all day long in your classroom. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you stay tuned for next week's video because I will have a huge collection of books to celebrate Women's History Month in the classroom. Have a great week.